Mental Training 101. And now back to Get Warrior Tough with Andrew and Dutch. Dutch, 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 Dutch. <laughs> I had to hit the Dutch button, man. It's not fair that I get to hit the buttons and you don't have any. <laughs> <laughs> I'll allow it. Okay, thank you. It's real. <laughs> All right. So, uh, I, I really, I just, it's just, it's mind boggling to me because we knew this from the time that I was like two years old. I began to understand that life was not fair. Mm. My parents did not, they didn't tell me life was always fair. They told me the exact opposite. Life's not fair. So it, I, This is one of those things that just boggles my mind, Dutch. So, I mean, I've known it since I was two that life's not fair. Then why, and, and all of us have. Then why do we get so torn out of the frame and get stuck in the mud of it's not fair? Mm. And, 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 and again, we're not telling you, number one, you already know we're not telling you that, it, that it's fair. We're not telling you to accept it. We're telling you to understand it. We're telling you to seek to understand it. When you seek to understand it, it's going to become less painful and you're going to have give yourself a chance to win. When you don't seek to understand it and you stay mired in anger and disappointment and in, in, in your in your tears, which the winners love to drink, by the way, they, they love <laughs> the taste of your tears. So right. don't give them that. So when you decide to do that, you you're not in a good place. So what we're trying to do is help you get to a better place. So a better place exists in understanding the system. So seek the understanding that, that that's step number one. Uh, yes, I, I, we know it's not fair. What's going on? What's happening? Yeah. I, I want to understand what's happening. How does the system and, work? And then I can in, then and only then should I insert myself into the system. We jump in the system, mm. ill-equipped, ill-equipped, um, no understanding, uh, no set, no uh, support system, uh, a bunch of complaining. Uh, we surround ourselves with other people like us that are complaining and all, all those things instead of reaching out to the winners, observing the winners, doing our homework, trying to find out why is this working for Hillary Clinton? Why is this working for Donald Trump? Why is this working for a person at my job, Joe, that always seems to get all the breaks? Why is why is uh, Bob, the teacher's pet, uh, always uh, uh, seem to be getting all the benefits? I need to find those things. I'm turning into an investigative reporter. I'm going to find out what's going on, how to win, what are the rules. Yeah, how come Alabama is always number one? Oh, sorry. The, the, great example. Nick, Nick Saban's a cheater. Great, but great example. Yes, but great example. No, no, he's, <laughs> he's not a cheater. But you know what he does? He tirelessly outworks everyone. Now, when you find that out, I'm not saying you have to do that. But your knowledge of that gives you a choice. It gives you insight on how to win so you can decide on your on your own whether to because if i make a conscious decision whoa hey man those rewards aren't good nick saban i'm going to tell you what i know i know people that work for nick saban they don't go out for lunch uh, they, they rarely see their families they rarely having dinner at home there's a lot there's a lot of sacrifices that are made so once you realize that nick saban yes he has four national championships in the last seven years am i right is it four yeah, in the last seven yeah. mm-hmm he has that. He has the money. He has all the prestige. But there's probably a lot of things that you enjoy that he's not enjoying. So you can once you investigate, you find out what he's doing to the system that's making him successful. You have every right to decide that it's not worth it for me. But what you're not is mired in depression in sadness and anger and pointing the finger at Nick Saban because he's this bad person. You understand what happened and you have a choice. And you're happy with the choice that you make. So I may not be winning national championships, but I have a great family life. Or I'm winning conference championships, and I have a great family. I have control over all that. So I understand. So I'm not living in anger. When another person doesn't understand anything about what's going on, they're living in anger, and they don't have the conference championships in the very least. They don't have the national championships. They don't have any of that stuff. So we're, we're trying to get you to understand uh, that you have a choice uh, to 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 be to place yourself where you want to be placed in the system based on how the system works, right? Right, and I was, and just a key off of what you just said with that, you know, in in the warrior culture as an elite warrior, when I, every choice that I make, I understand there's an opportunity cost. So yes. 
that's why it's so important to have a target. If you don't know what your target is, then you can't weigh the cost of executing the things you have to do to get to the target. And we ask this question in our seminars. Is your target big enough so that it's worth all the hard work to get there? If it's not big enough, then what are you doing? Yeah, that's it. It really is that simple. But we, we, we want to control we want to control systems more than we want to understand systems. When we don't understand yeah. that understanding system is controlling the system because I'm controlling my input in the system, which, again, is controlling my outcome, right? Yes, yes, it, that's right. What you put into it, and we already know this, whatever you put into it is what you get out of it, right? Like Citadel, the Marine Corps, the job at work, football practice, Whatever you put, you know, going through the phalanx and the warrior tough process, we see it with clients every day, Dutch, you and I, we see the people who put into it, they get the results out of it. The people that push back and they, you know, they're mad and they don't, you know, like that I compliment my wife and say booyah, they get nothing out of it. And, and I'm not, and I'm not judging Bob and I'm not, I'm not judging Donald Trump. I'm not judging Hillary no. Clinton. I'm not judging them because I've decided my outcome. I've decided my input, and therefore I've decided my outcome. And no one can judge me. That's it's right. Not affect, and their judgments don't affect me. If they do attempt to judge me, it yeah. doesn't affect me. Right. Dutch ain't fair. Yeah. Hey, man. Love you, but I got a thing. I got a thing. I made a conscious decision to be where I am, how I am, and, and, and that's, that's all I can control. That's it. That, you know, it, what you put into it is what you're going to get out of it. Stop complaining about the system. Pick whatever system you're going to operate in. Do your research. Do your homework. Figure out how you could best game that system and then put into it what you need to to get the target, the outcome that you want. And, and, when, you, and when you're doing it for good, because this is the same thing works with relationships. Yeah. Any relationship you have, you have to, you have to seek to understand the relationship. You have to seek. You're building this relationship. You're constructing this. So your understanding, uh, it, it, it includes what am I getting out of this? What are they getting out of this? What do I have to offer? What do they have to offer? How is this going to benefit me? How is this going to hurt me? All those things go into, uh, no matter how you want to determine it as being selfish and all that. No, there's a cost-benefit analysis There's in everything. There's a, there's a, there's a, a calculated uh, a mindset with everything you do. There, there needs to be. Because yeah. I want to be completely aware as much as possible of where I am, where I have myself at all times. You have the ability to do that. But you have to be willing to seek the understanding first, to learn the rules, to understand the system. And, and then you can begin to construct systems within systems. And, and, and that's it. It's, it's really that simple. Right. And, and then you can begin to rig the rigged system for your advantage. <laughs> And other people are going to benefit from your from your knowledge of the system because they're going to anyone in your air, in in your circle. You can help them. It's going to you can help them. Hey, this is how you get the fast pass, right? Hey, how do I yeah. get the fast pass? Here, I'll show you. Come on, here, I'll show you how to get the fast pass. That's that's how they, that's how someone in the communist uh, system can help people. Absolutely, because a good person uh, uh, has a great understanding of the system that this of this corrupt system. I have a, a good person got a wonderful understanding of a corrupt system and within that corrupt system i found a way to help people because i can't change the corrupt system it's corrupt right but i can infiltrate it and begin to help people and maybe even influence others within the corrupt system because i'm so knowledgeable about knowledgeable about the corrupt system that i can begin to push my airspace out and maybe i can influence the corrupt system that way instead of getting in there being angry and fighting and and being again covered in all this hate and anger and, 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 and nonsense and not moving anything or helping anybody, much less myself. Yeah, especially yourself. You're just, it's, a, it's just being mired down in the swamp of frustration. It's quicksand. Yeah, that's, it's yep, quicksand. And, that's, and, and the sad part, Andrew, is that's where most of us are. I know. That's where most of us are. That's why less than 1% have the elite warrior mindset. Go to GetWarriorTough.com. Check us out. Read the literature. You know, uh, give us a call. Do all these things because you don't want to exist in that space. That's the reason that you have all these different issues. It's not because of other people. It's not because of the system. It's not because of all these things you've categorized, all the reasons you've given them. That has nothing to do with it. Da download the app. Listen to the hours and hours of, of content that we have. Seek us out on YouTube. Do all those things. Yeah. 
begin to understand what's going on around you and then you can decide your input and then you end up deciding your outcome. That's it. It's that simple. It, it really is, man. And, I, you know, um, we love what we do. We love helping people out. We love helping people find the fast pass. We love it. Right? Um, mm -hmm. oh, and, yeah. and it's sad to me that everybody doesn't want a fast pass. Do you know what I mean? It's kind of like when we go around and we're doing this stuff and we go into corporations and we go, we do public seminars, we do phone calls, we do all this coaching, we do training. It's amazing to me how many people want to just stand in the slow line and they don't even, and, and we're like, hey, fast pass is over here. They're like, yeah, no, I don't want that. And, I, and, and you know what? We're not judging. We're not judging you not for judging wanting you, to be in there. But, but you it, can't complain a, about right. those in the fast pass if there you're comfortable you in the slow line. We're you not can't saying, complain about it. Exactly. And you and you can't and, and what we're so you can't complain and what we don't want you to do is hurt yourself because of it. Because that's what you're doing. When you're complaining, you know, all that negative uh, energy and, and stresses and all those things that have an impact on your body, it's having an impact on your health, it's having an impact on your mentality, it's having an impact on your, your relationships, the people around you. All, and it's having an impact on your outcome. So we're not judging you, but when you decide to judge others based on it and spend all that energy being angry, that affects you more than it affects the people you're angry angry with. I know we well, what is it, about a minute and a half left, man. This has flown by. Yeah, it has flown by. But it, I think it was an important discussion to have, Dutch, especially the way everything's are cranked up right now. Listen, if you have a friend that uh, you know that is upset about all the stuff that's going on in the election and all the, you know, let them listen to this and listen, you know, start listening to our stuff, you know, unplug from that stuff and start getting control of your own thoughts, your own emotions, your own attitudes, um, because you can't control anything else anyway. So just take back control of your piece of the airspace. There's a winning formula in every situation. There is a winning formula in every situation. As you always say, even during the Great Depression, people got rich. Yep, absolutely. And in the crash of 2008, people got rich. I, I, it's, it's totally mindset, man. It totally is mindset. If you're going to whine and complain about it's rigged, it's, it's not fair, it, you're not helping yourself get to the target any faster. Figure out what system you're in. Figure out how to game that system and then put the work in and then get the output that you want. Is that sum it up, Dutch? That's about it. And if you and if you hadn't gotten it, again, www.getwarriortough.com. Reach out to us at Warrior Tough uh, PhD at uh, the Dutch Coleman on Twitter. Yeah. Uh, did I even get my my name right on on Twitter? <laughs> uh, yeah, the Dutch Coleman. <laughs> All right, so we're about to close out. I wanted to say, hey, I wanted to tell you, you know, I did an interview um, last week. I ran up to um, did Great Day Washington with Daryl Green, the Hall of Famer Redskin. I know that made you happy, made my wife happy. He, awesome dude. We were on the set together, and we talked about mindsets um, with uh, also the co-host uh, Chris Leary. And then um, I wrote an article for Entrepreneur about a week ago. Well, Time Magazine picked it up this week, dude. Isn't that pretty cool? Time Time Beautiful. picked it up. So that's really cool. Uh, Inc. Uh, Inc. Magazine did an interview with us. Um, we did one with uh, Business Insider that should be coming out soon. Um, I think she like review, read the book and reviewed it. So we got some really cool stuff coming and going um, in the you know uh, for the the Get Warrior Tough uh, brand. I'll say it that way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're excited. We're excited. We want you to be excited because when we do well, you do well because everything that we do. To have success is because we're helping people have success. Yep. Absolutely. All right, buddy. Great show, man. Absolutely. Peace out.